Hello, Rockheads, and welcome to Resort Life Island Tycoon, where in this game we can build our dream home and apparently drive some really cool cars as well. Now, speaking of cars, it looks like there is some sort of car quest where if we complete the three quests, we can unlock the limited time car. Now, I'm not too sure if that's something that we'll cover in this video. It just depends on what the quests are, but we'll certainly take a look for it anyways. Now, as you can see, I've just started the game. It did pop up with a, um, a beta something or other on the on the start screen and it gave us fifty thousand dollars so that should do it for you as well but it certainly did the time of recording this video uh, there is also a code that will pump in now because it will give us some extra monies uh, so it's launch with the capital l so we'll go ahead and claim that now which is give us 51 big g's in the bank and we can also go ahead and claim our day one rewards as well which should take us up to 52 g's so with all that being done and said we can now actually go ahead and claim our free boot on and it didn't cost us anything as well i always like that indeed so first things first i'm going to take a quick look around and see what is on offer right now so it looks like this is where we can go and collect our monies and it is increasing at the minute okay so i'll bear that in mind we've got a bunch of different leaderboards here as well top cash playtime uh, we've got someone, oh, we got Mrs. Beast playing here as well. Mr. Beast's wife must uh, really enjoy playing this game. And we've got Robux spent as well. Someone has spent 15,000 Robux in this game. G to the G. That is hardcore dedication right there. So, it looks like we are on a brand new adventure and a different type of... Of resort game mrs rock did actually recommend this one as well we like the resort type games um, and i know she's been bashing it quite a good bit so that's what we're going to go ahead and look to do's right i just want to check this because it looks like we've got some sort of map as well resort okay so that's fast travel that's something that you can buy it looks like this is where we can go and access people's places as well we've got a shop where we can buy a bunch of different game passes um and it looks like car packs as well I think Little Rock would be liking these. Government car pack. What an emergency vehicles that a post fan as well. And a bunch of cash packs as well that we can go ahead and get if we need to. And obviously that's the reward section right there. Right, quest as well, because I know it mentioned about quests. So stay in game for 60 minutes. So in doubt we're going to be able to cover that on this video. And complete 10 jobs completely build the mansion right okay so yeah it looks like we've got a lot of work to do in order to be able to get that limited car so fast travel is free we were literally just looking at that right now as well is that is that what we've got maybe we just do it another way hang on what's that button there as well hang on where is it I forgot where it is now no there i've lost it map there we are right resort not that one home Oh, so that just takes us out. Right, I'm going to stop pressing buttons now. Uh, yeah, because things are going to happen. Right, sorry about that awkward cut there. The uh, controller went a little crazy. So, uh, yeah, mouse and keyboard back in action. Right, anyways, let's start bashing away at some buttons. So, we're going to build the garage for $2. I've got to say, that was a big build for the first button. I like, right, purchase build garage. Your income is now $3 per second. So we're going to go ahead and buy the door just so we haven't got people coming in. Oh, we can actually prop it open and close it as well. Oh, I like that. That's so cool. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and get all these doors. Right, let's go and open this one as well. They've got it, uh, yeah, all opens automatically. And we've got a car spawn coming in. So, can we spawn cars already? Got an empty slot. We have got the dealership as well. Starter pack. I don't know if we've got a buy. Oh, there, right, there is price tags next to us. So technically, we could go ahead and buy this one straight away. But I don't want to buy any cars just yet. Um, because I want to save it. We have only just started the game. And I want to save all the caches. Right, car spawn. 100k right okay so that's real expensive that one right build supply shed gotcha gotcha uh clutter quick cash no we don't need any cashies right now we're good these things are fairly cheap straight away right i'm gonna buy some more clutter so it's got that real sort of garage vibe to it straight away 
Okay, I wonder if we have to repair anything in this. Right, okay, clear debris. And we're going to clear up this as well. So it looks like we're, we're basically just moving it from here into there where no one can ever see. So all our rubbish is hidden out of plain sight. Right, okay. Clear that. We're going to buy some shelves. I like the way it comes together like that as well. So the, a lot of tycoons do be missing that. Right, so I just want to pop back into the dealership just to see what other vehicles they have actually got. Okay, we've got the cyber truck there for half a millies. We've got some muscle cars coming in. We've got the roller, 2.5 mil. What's the most expensive vehicle? So some of these are actually daily reward vehicles as well, which I've got to say are pretty epic for daily rewards. Okay. And you actually get a UFO. Halloween. Cool. Right, I'm not too sure if you might have missed that. Um, but we'll find out in times. Right, okay. Right, back outside. Looks like we're going to continue our build. Right, so we've got a door. We've got walls. And we've got mud rim. What's a mud rim? We've got a shoe rack. Oh, they look a bit fancy, don't they, for the garage? Right, okay. Cloaks. Got a door. We can actually ring the doorbell. Nice. Okay, I, I'm liking this game. I am liking this game. Right, let's go and collect. So we've already got three and a half G's in the bank, which is pretty, pretty good. So let's head back into where it's prompting us to go to. Okay, build a theatre. We're going to be watching the movies. Wall. Okay, movie stands. Oh, this, is, this is like a proper theatre. Row two seats. We, we, oh, we've got popcorn. I will be absolutely devastated if we're, we've gone to all this length to build this and there ain't no popcorns. Right, okay. Screen. And this is really, really good, actually, like, if you're in this game with a bunch of peoples because if you look at it, you can actually go ahead and sit in the seats as well. I'm not too sure if anything comes on the screen, but, you know, if you do a bit of role play, then you can watch whatever you really want to. Uh, right, okay. So we've got a painting. No, oh my god, it's like an actual trailer. Right, I'm gonna pause that there just in case of copyrights, but that is absolutely epic. It's got an actual movie trailer in the game. That is that is really, really cool. Right, elevator doorway. Oh, is this a working elevator then? Can we test it? I don't know if it'll go anywhere at the minute. It actually is as well. Oh, I, I think I'm falling in love with this game. Right, okay. Let's head out. What else have we got? Door. Okay, right. We've still got 27 Gs in the bank, so we, we're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Right, we've got paintings. Got, is this going to be like a gallery? Surely it's got a bit of bowling pins. Okay. Level two. Right, let's get let's get all these out the way. And then we, we've got to have a crack at bowling here, haven't we? Okay. Uh, plants. We've always got to have a plant. If we haven't got a plant, we've got to have a crate. We've got a TV. Exclusive deal. Can we tempt you? You, you, you are tempting me, but not right now, okay? I want to do a little bit of bowling. Right, paintings. What else have we got here? Clutter. Air hockey. Can you actually play with this as well? This is one of like Little Rock's all time favorite games to play at like arcades and stuff like that. Air hockey. But the fact that we've got this massive like games room is so epic right now, but you know we've got to have a crack at this. Because I am absolutely bowling pro. Um, right, okay. Do we just. See, told you, absolutely pro. Right, um, let's try again. Because obviously that was uh, someone hacked me there. Right, let's roll again. Right, we, we moved one pin, okay, but it didn't actually fall over. Can I get really close? Right, there we go. I'm determined. Okay. How far can I actually roll this? Can I do it from down here then? Let's kind of go like first person. Oh, we can. Nice! Actually done it better like that. Okay, right, one more go. Can we get a strike before I leave? Oh, this could be promising. 
Oh, okay. You know what? It was close, wasn't it? It was close. But that, how cool is that? That we can actually interact with the bowling alley as well. Right, I'm taking this bowling pin with me because I want to see where we can roll it. Maybe we can roll it into someone's car. No, don't do that. Okay, right. We're going to take it up here. We're going to buy floor two. And we're going to buy the elevator holder because we absolutely need to check the elevator out, don't we? Right, okay. Let me, can I roll this off the building? I have to so check this right now. Okay, there we go, we ready? Where's it going? <laughs> so we can actually take the bowling ball any way we want by the looks of it. That is gonna be some fun. Right, okay, right, we've got walls on the go. We, it looks like we've got a heirloom egg that we can go ahead and buy for 35 Robo, but I'm not gonna be buying that just yet because we've got more of this kind of house mansion I'm, I'm going more for mansion at the minute to build on right we've still got 17 thousand still in the bank and we're building what has to be probably my favorite room all time in any house which is the kitchen we've got that big center island on the go we're gonna be buying some ingredients now as well let's see what we've got looks like we've got some sort of jars is that ketchup they're 100 breadsticks aren't they uh, I don't know if that's just a plant or like some sort of vegetable. We've got our own chef by the looks of it. Begin job. Okay. Oh, hang, hang on a minute. Am I the chef? I thought it, I thought we were getting the chef to do it for us. Right, okay. So we've got to pick up the garlic. Collect the garlic. We've actually got Mansion's Kitchen. Yeah, so gar we're making garlic bread. Collect the ingredients. Okay, so we've, got to cut, we've already collected that. We need to go and collect the bread. Okay, now uh, prepare the ingredients at the cutting board. Okay. It looks like we're, we're, we're chopping everything and um, begin cooking at the stove. Right, off we go. This is crazy. We're actually making our own serve the order at the counter. We'll be serving it to ourselves. We just earned some top dollars for that as well. Nice. So can we do that literally anytime we want to? We've actually got a leaderboard for it as well. Someone's gone ahead and prepared over a thousand meals. But you see, that's what I like about these types of games. It's, you know, you've got small elements of role play in the game. So it looks like anytime we want to cook something, we, we, we go over to this studio. Yeah, how awesome is that? Right, I just want to click on it again. Is it the same? No, it's different different meals. Right, I've got, I've got to cook this now. Okay, so uh, ingredients. Oh, so this is pasta. I thought, I thought that was breadsticks. Right, um... Mariana, okay, there we go. It looks like tomato sauce, doesn't it? But like, not the type of ketchup I'm thinking of. Like proper tomato sauce. <laughs> right, begin cooking at the stove. And then I take it after this, we're gonna go ahead and serve and let's see what dollars we get for this. Whoa, we just earned 2.5K, right, so that surely is an epic way to make some cash in this game as well as um at the like the cash collector right let's continue building so we've got some epic windows going in to the build right now we've got a rug coming in we've got a dining table love it love it love it was that someone on our door okay right let's go down let's take the elevator basement oh doors looked a bit glitchy we have got someone coming in here do we hide? I don't feel like I'm ready for visitors right now. Are they gonna attack me? Is there, is there weapons in this game? I have no idea. Let me go over and see if there's weapons here. We have actually got 49K in this as well. So let's go ahead with that. Look, we've got low gravity, fast travel, auto. Right, it doesn't look like there's any weapons. I thought that dude was coming to like kill me. Right, I'm gonna sneak back in. Ring the doorbell. Right, okay. I can hear noises and things going on in the background. I don't know whether I'm scared or not. Is there a button out here? I think so. Right, stairs. Stairs to where? Up here. But we are on 163. Whoa. Jetpack. Right, okay. I think that is something we, we do need to get further down the line as well. Right, walls. Uh, doors. What I like about this is each button we're pressing, our money is increasing as well. Whereas uh, some games you can be quite restricted to uh, only selecting the money buttons, then your money will increase. But with this, it just keeps going up and up. So that is that is pretty dope as well. Right, we've got the big beds coming in. We've got an epic painting. 
that reminds me of like Venice or something somewhere. And we were just cooking the pasta in the kitchen as well. So are we based in Italy? I do not know. Right, we've got a TV stand. Uh, we've got a lamp on the go as well. Okay, we've got 12 G's left in the bank. We've got some very expensive plants coming in and we've got enough just to scrape through some cabinets before we are bankrupt. So let me go down, let me see how much cash we've got left in the bank. But I've got, I've got to say with that starter cash, we've been able to get a big, big chunk done. It's starting to slowly take shape. Right, let's see where we get with this 16 G. Um, we're back upstairs again. Okay, so let's sneak around this corner. Okay, so we've got some chairs. We've got cutlery on the go. Look at the size of this table, by the way. It is absolutely huge. And I want it all to myself. Right, okay. That way I can keep all the foods. And we've got another plant, right? Is there anything that looks like we can go back down now? I think it's prompted me to go and collect more cash. We've got a bench coming in um, at three Ks. And, and a wall as well, which is 2.2. So we have got enough for that additional wall right there. And I think probably at this point, it would probably be good to start sort of grinding up because money is coming in at 210 per second, which is absolutely amazing. I want to go and use this lift again. It's also given us an idea of how many floors there is because I think technically we're already on the first floor because we can travel down to the basement. And then we've got a second floor and what looks like a roof as well. So this place has got to be really big. And I feel, um, yeah, I feel it's just got to be absolutely humongous. But yeah, I think this is a good point to sort of grind up the cash. We have got access to vehicles now as well, but obviously I haven't bought anything as <coughs> of yet. But let me know what your thoughts are on this game. I think it's got to be a pretty big game, isn't it? Have you been playing this? Is there more to do in the game as well? We've, we have got a fallen tree over there. It's giving me a bit of a Christmas vibe as well. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the game. Uh, if you would like me to come back and play some more of this, make a second episode, because clearly there's a lot more to do, and I think it's going to be... It's, I've got a good vibe about this game. Then um, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me come back and make maybe our first pitch haste of a vehicle and progress further with the house as well. But I like it. I've got a really good vibe with this and uh, I'm really, really, really looking forward to playing more. So if you did like this video, then please make sure to like it and subscribe. But until the next time, my friends, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>